that you would say to somebody if they asked you, what is it that you do to actually help the team win a game? I think first and foremost, it depends on the mindset. Again, we talk about growth and fixed mindset and Carol Dweck stuff, but the best coaches I've worked for are the most holistic. And they are the most holistic because coaches themselves, we talk about player holistic development, but what about coach holistic development? I mean, when you look at the history of leadership and how leaders evolve and how the most effective ones become effective and why they're effective, it's normally because they take skills from all different variables and, 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 and collate those skills into a unique sort of process. So how do I help, answer the question, how do I help the team win? I help the team win because I hopefully, or, and I say I, I hate that word, we hopefully make them feel more, A, more emotionally engaged in, in themselves, be more emotionally engaged in each other's goals, opinions and, and agendas. Um, how else do I make them win? Question and answering in terms of delivering effective teaching, learning techniques so players' self-awareness is greater about themselves and when their self-awareness is greater their understanding of their learning journey is clear which means therefore we get accelerated learning because learning is is, is um, learning is more has more meat to the bone for the players. Uh, we get greater buy-in from the learning journey. So yet yeah, again, language like uh, we, not I. How are we going to improve? How are we going to implement change on the pitch? And then really, so I'll give you a, an applied example. On a Monday for many years, I've, I've basically done a horseshoe classroom. And that sounds really silly. I'm obsessed with a horseshoe instead of the traditional 10 seats, 10 seats, 10 seats. We've got, you know, the little nuances and dynamics and players just get to talk. They talk. I have more and more and more and more conversations about learning, about how they feel, and I can't emphasise that again. It's it's connecting about how you feel. You know, if you don't if you don't connect the learning with the emotion, then then you're not you're not hiding to nothing.